Hi, folks. Two choices for you here. Go backstage and get set up for your appearance on the show, or you can try our Create Your Family feature. All right. Backstage. All right. You got to make a couple of choices here. First of all, how many families? Pick your family. Family one, you have the space bar. It's showtime. They're from St. Paul, and they describe themselves as being glamorous and good nature. Let's hear it for them. Family number one. They're from the Sunflower State, and they describe themselves as classic, but mostly creative. Give it up for family number two. Play for big money on the Family Feud. And now, here's the host of Family Feud, Louis Anderson. Time for the Family Feud, everybody. Let's have some good old fashioned family fun. Good luck, everybody. 100 people survey. Top four answers are on the board. We're looking for the most popular answer. Good luck. Name something specific that a customs official looks for. Okay, family number two. Okay, I knew the answer. Good answer, but there's one that can beat it. Next family. Let's go, put down something. We need an answer, family number one. Better hurry. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Show me. Drugs? Oh, good answer, number one. Family number one, are you gonna play or pass? Pass? All right, then. Yeah! Family number two. Name something specific that a customs official looks for. Good answer. Good answer. Is it up there? Ah, strike one. Sorry. Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? Name something specific that a customs official looks for. Let's see if it's up there. Oh, I'm sorry. Strike number two. Family number one. One more strike, and you get a chance to steal. Next player, what's your guess? Name something specific that a customs official looks for. Got an answer for us? Huh. Let's see if it's up there. Good answer, but sorry. The next family can steal. Family number one. Name something specific that a customs official looks for. Survey says. All right, give family number two those points. What was in third? Let's see what was in fourth. Let's see how our families are doing after the first round. You're in the lead, family number two. Family number one, you're within striking distance. All right, time for round two. I need two more players up here. Let's go. You know the drill. 100 people did the survey. Top five answers up on the board. Good luck. Name something that's better than being rich. Okay, family number one. Got an answer for us? We need an answer, family number one. Survey says? No, it's not up there. Over to family number two. Answer 
sure. Let's see if it's up there. No, that's not it. Okay, then. Let's try another survey. You know the drill. A hundred people did the survey. Top six answers up on the board. Good luck. Name something people pry open. Family number one. All right. Let's see what's on the board. No, it's not up there. Over to family number two. Let's see if it's up there. Yeah. Family number two. Are you going to play or pass? Hmm. You're playing? Okay. That's fair. Let's go. Name something people pry open. Let's see if it's up there. Good guess, but no, I gotta give you a strike. Another player, we need another answer. Name something people pry open. Let's see if it's up there. Oh yeah! All right! Another player, we need another answer. Name something people pry open. Good answer. Let me see. Can. You got it. Our number one answer. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Name something people pry open. Let's see if it's up there. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Name something people pry open. Let's see if it's up there. Good. Good answer. Good answer. Next family member, what do you say? Name something people pry open. Got an answer for us? Let's see if it's up there. Uh oh, that's strike number two. Careful, only one more strike. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Name something people pry open. Okay, give me the answer. There. I gotta give you a strike. Next family, you can steal. Okay, family number one. Name something people pry open. <laughs> Answer, please. What will it be, family number one? Is it there? Show us! Oh, all right, family number two. You get the points this round. What was in the fifth spot? <laughs> Let's see how our families are doing after round two. Hey, family number two, you've built up a big lead. Don't worry, family number one, there's plenty of game left. Let's move on to round three. I need a couple more players. 100 people surveyed. We've got the top six answers. You just gotta guess them. Good luck. In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. 
Family number two. Let's go. Put down something. Good answer. Good answer. Is it up there? Good guess, but it's not there. Let's give family number one a shot. Number one, are you gonna play or pass? You're playing? Okay. That's fair. Let's go. In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. Is it there? Show us. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top six. Next player, let's go. In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. All right, show me that. Oh, yeah, that's it. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone. Is it there? Show us. Good guess, but it's not there. I gotta give you another strike. Next family, one more strike and you're up. Next player, what's your guess? In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. All right, let's see what's on the board. Good guess, but no, gotta give you a strike. Our chances feel coming up. Family number two. In a carpool, name something one passenger does that annoys everyone else. What do you think the answer is? I hope it's up there for you. Family number one, you did it. Way to go. What was our most popular answer? What was in third? Let's see what was in fourth. The sixth most popular answer. <laughs> that brings us to the end of round three. Let's look at the scores. You've got a commanding lead, family number two. All right, it's time for round four. Let's find out who's gonna play fast money. I need a couple more players. A hundred people surveyed. We got the top four answers. You just gotta give them to us. Name something people buy that comes in stick form. Family number one. Got an answer for us? All right. Show me that. Nice try, but no, sorry. Family number two, you give it a shot. Okay, give me the answer. You bet. Family number two, are you gonna play or pass? Hmm. Hmm. You're playing? Okay. Another player. You need another answer. Name something people buy that comes in stick form. Yeah. Really like to see gum. Yes. Good answer. Number one. Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? Name something people buy that comes in stick form. Survey set. Yeah, right. It's not up there. I gotta give you a strike. Next family, you can steal. Family number one. Name something people buy that comes in stick form. All right. Let's see what's on the board.
Perfect family number two, those points. What was in second? What was the fourth most popular answer? That takes us to the end of this round. Hey, let's check out the scoreboard. Very well done, family number two. All of you played great. Congratulations, family number two. Hope you had fun on the feud. See you soon. Be good to your families. Remember, you're stuck with them. Bye. Hi, welcome to uh -huh. Uh -huh. Backstage, all right. Pick your family. Family one, you have the space bar. It's showtime. They're from Olympia, and they describe themselves as being solid and serene. Let's hear it for them. Family number one. They're from the Sunflower State, and they describe themselves as classy, but mostly creative. Give it up for family number two. Two families will be playing for big money on the Family Feud. And now, here's the host of Family Feud, Louis Anderson. Welcome to another game of Family Feud, everyone. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. A hundred people surveyed. We've got their top five answers up there. Good luck. Name something you finally own completely on which you once made monthly Okay, family number one. So they said. Good answer, but there's one that can beat it. Next family. Good guess, but it's not up there. Family number one, are you gonna play or pass? You gonna play? All right. Next player, what's your guess? Name something you finally own completely on which you once made monthly payments. I hope it's there for you. Okay, show me. Car. The number one answer, all right. Next player, let's go. Name something you finally own completely on which you once made monthly payments. Is it there? Show us. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. Next player, what's your guess? Name something you finally own completely on which you once made monthly payments. We need an answer, please. We need an answer, family number one. Is it there? Oh, I'm sorry. Strike number two. Next family, one more strike and you're up. Next family member, what do you say? Name something you finally own completely on which you once made monthly payments. Got an answer for us? Is it there? Show us! Good guess, but no. Gotta give you a strike. Our chances feel coming up. What do you think it is, family number two? Name something you finally own completely on which you once made monthly payments. Good answer! Good answer! Is it up there? Uh, Alright, family number one, you got the points. What was in third? What was the fourth most popular answer? The fifth most popular answer. brings us to the end of the first round. Let's look at the scores. 
Well done, family number one. Family number two, you're not far off the lead. Are you ready for round two? Come on, let's go. Two more players and we can get going. Let's do it. We surveyed 100 people, top four answers on the board. Here we go. Name an item that people don't buy until they have priced it at several places. What do you think it is, family number one? Okay, I wanna see... Car. Good answer, number one. Family number one, are you gonna play or pass? You're playing? Okay. That's family number. What do you say? Name an item that people don't buy until they have priced it at several places. Mm -hmm. Survey says... Oh, good answer, but it wasn't in our top four. Next player, what's your guess? Name an item that people don't buy until they have priced it at several places. Survey says... Next player, what's your guess? Name an item that people don't buy until they have priced it at several places. Hey, come on, we need an answer. Huh. What will it be, family number one? Better hurry up. All right, let's see what's on the I thought it would be there. Sorry, that's two strikes. One more strike and you're up, family number two. Another player. We need another answer. Name an item that people don't buy until they have priced it at several places. All right. Let's see what's on the Good guess, but no. Gotta give you a strike. Our chance is still coming up. What do you think it is, family number two? Name an item that people don't buy until they have priced it at several places. What do you think the answer is? Let's see if it's up there. Yes, family number one gets the point. What was in third? Let's see what was in fourth. That's the end of round two. Let's see how everybody's doing. You've got a commanding lead, family number one. Hang in there, family number two. Okay, it's round three, let's go. Two more players and we can get going. Let's do it. A hundred people surveyed. We got the top four answers. You just gotta give them to us. Name someone you have to stand up to now and then. Your answer, family number one. I hope it's there for you. Okay, show me. Boss. Our top answer. Way to go. Family number one, are you gonna play or pass? You're playing? Okay. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Name someone you have to stand up to now and then. All right, show me that. It's not up there. Strike number one. Next player, what's your guess? Name someone you have to stand up to now and then. We need an answer, please. What will it be, family number one? All right. Good answer, but sorry. Your second strike. Family number two, one more strike, and you get a chance to steal. Next player, let's go. Name someone you have to stand up to now and then.
Is it there? Good guess, but no. Gotta give you a strike. Our chances feel coming up. Family number two. Name someone you have to stand up to now and then. Okay. I knew the answer. Okay. You did it, family number two. Well done. Let's see what was the second most popular answer. What was in third place? Let's see how our families are doing after round three. You've got a commanding lead, family number one. There's lots of game left, family number two. It's time for round four. In this round, anything can happen. The point values are tripled, but there's only one strike. Now let's go. Remember for each family, let's go. We surveyed 100 people, top four answers on the board. Here we go. Which of the seven dwarfs best describes your husband? What do you think it is, family number one? Answer. Ooh. Come on, family number one, let's play. Survey says. Number two answer. Only one's gonna beat it. Next family. Let's see if it's up there. Jeez. Good guess, but it's not up there. Family number one, are you gonna play or pass? You're playing? Okay. Another player. We need another answer. Which of the seven dwarfs best describes your husband? All right. Let's see if it's on the board. That's it. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Which of the seven dwarfs best describes your husband? Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Show me. Sleepy. Good answer, number one. Next player, what's your guess? Which of the seven dwarves best describes your husband? All right, let's see what's on the board. Oh, sorry, strike one. That's it, the other family can steal. What do you think it is, family number two? Which of the seven dwarves best describes your husband? I want to see that answer. Yes, family number one gets the points. What was in third place? Let's check out how both families are doing after this round. Well done, family number one. Good game, everybody. Going to the fast money round is our big winner, family number one. <laughs> Who's gonna play fast money? I mean, two players from your family, and we'll get there. We have our first player. Good luck. The clock won't start until I finish reading the first question. Name a sport that's tough to play on a windy day. Name a kind of animal used in advertising. Name a teenager's most prized possession. Name the season you do the most work around the house. Besides engines, name something under the hoods of cars. Let's see how you did. 
Name a sport that's tough to play on a windy day. Here's your answer. Our survey said... <laughs> Name a kind of animal used in advertising. You said... Was it up there? Name a teenager's most prized possession. You gave us... Show it to us. Aww. Name the season you do the most work around the house. You said... Survey said... Besides engines, name something under the hoods of cars. Here's your answer. Was it up there? <laughs> our next player needs 110 points to win our fast money round. We now have our second player. Same five questions, looking for the most popular answers. Can't duplicate. The clock won't start until I finish the first question. Good luck. Name a sport that's tough to play on a windy day. Name a kind of animal used in advertising. Name a teenager's most prized possession. Name the season you do the most work around the house. Besides engines, name something under the hoods of cars. Name a teenager's most prized possession. Let's take a look at your answer. Name a sport that's tough to play on a windy day. Your answer was... Let's see if it was there. <laughs> Name a kind of animal used in advertising. You gave us... Survey said... <laughs> Name a teenager's most prized possession. You gave us... Our survey said... <laughs> Name the season you do the most work around the house. Your answer was... Show it to us. The number one answer. Way to go. Besides engines, name something under the hoods of cars. You answered. Was it up there? <laughs> you came up a little short. Too bad. But you did win on the day, however. Congratulations. See you next time for another game of Family Feud. Welcome to the family feud. Out of here already? Yes. Yeah.